So if you look at evolution of development and deployment, this is how in 80s and 90s the development and deployment used to be. By your development process used to be waterfall model where you take number of years to create one application. Your application architecture used to be monolithic like big mainframes. If you've seen big, big devices from IBM. My servers used to be on physical servers and the application used to be hosted on data centers. Then came era of 2000 when I started my journey into IT 21 years back. The development used to be agile. There will be like the development life cycle reduced from five, six years to maybe a year or two years. The application architecture has gone to the end tier application where you have a database tier, application tier, web tier, and maybe a UI, um, UX front end, and then maybe the client tier. Then in 2000 started with VMware, they revolutionized the whole IT with the virtualization, virtual servers we call, we still use these virtual machines VMs. And my application infrastructure used to be hosted environment. Now the era in which we are living, when I was pretty much bogged down into this era, good like uh, around 2015, 16. And when I looked back in 2015, 16, when I started looking into the market, I realized the whole game have changed. So if you are someone like with me who has more than 10 years experience, you now probably know that the era in which we are living, it's a DevOps where both development and operations team work together. My application architecture has gone from a three tier architecture to a microservices, which are loosely coupled services. My applications these days no more run on standalone machines. They run on containers and then these all the infrastructure line currently is on cloud. Hey there, I hope you like this short video and it intrigued your interest in knowing more about OpenShift, a platform from Red Hat powered by Kubernetes under the hood with easy integration with DevOps tools like Ansible and Jenkins. To know more about Red Hat OpenShift, you can register for our free class at k21academy.com forward slash OpenShift02, where our Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift experts will be talking about why more than 50% of the Fortune 100 companies are now using OpenShift to run microservices and containerized applications, along with job opportunities and how much you can earn working on OpenShift architecture and components of OpenShift. Our eight week roadmap and 30 plus step by step hands on labs you must perform to learn Red Hat OpenShift for complete beginners. There is also limited time gift for action takers. So register for a two hour free class at k21academy.com forward slash openshift02.